All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the floor finished up. We do have all of the actual vinyl planks down. Now what we're gonna have to do is finish up, you know, probably all the tiles that were put down. So I'm gonna do something a little unconventional on that. All right, you can see here we have all the tiles down and they're actually pretty close to being even. There's maybe about a 16th of a difference between the height of that and the height of this. So to make sure, because if I try to grout this, it will crack because this is vinyl four, it will move, that will not. So what we're gonna end up doing here is instead of actually grouting between that, I'm actually gonna be using a caulking that's actually gonna be a light gray. And that's how we're gonna do this. It's actually for window sliding and doors and stuff. This stuff actually uh, should be able to flexible. But now the first thing I'm gonna do before I put this stuff down is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna tape around my seams. So I got all the first seams done. So you can see the gap in between there. So what we're gonna do now is so I don't have to run up one piece on each side, which should make it kind of redundant and a little bit harder. I'm actually just doing one piece down the middle and then I'm gonna use my knife and then trim them. All right, I changed the plan a little bit on how I'm gonna do these. So I'll show you how I do one. All right, so you can see here, I got one down. So what I do is I take my knife and I'm actually gonna run it against the one edge, nice and tight. And now that I have that done, I'll actually peel the other side off and flip it around so the factory edge is on the other side and line it up to where I want. And now I have my groove. So it took me a couple to figure that out, but I found that's the best way to do this. All right, now you see what it looks like all taped. And now basically I'm gonna go through with the caulking and fill in all these grooves and then I can smooth it over and then just peel the tape off. All right, I didn't show it, but I do have the caulk on and I didn't use it, smooth it out. I'll show you what I smoothed it out and how it looks. All right, this is what I used. Actually, I used just as a paint mixer stir stick here. And what I ended up doing is essentially running it along each one of these grooves. And now we have to go back and pull the tape up. All right. See, I got this all done now in the front. The back, I still got to do, because actually that was the entire tube used in just that little area. I thought one tube would go much farther than it actually did. But since I got to do this back edge yet, and I still have to do around the bottom of the bar too, but I got to get that all taped up yet. All right, while I wait for the caulking to dry, I'm going to go ahead and get this transition strip done. So the first thing is measure it out and then cut the metal, which I've already marked it, and cut it. All right, now I wish I would have had this when I first did the floor because I thought this was much thinner than it actually is. So this won't fit down in the groove that I made for it. So I'm going to have to go back and cut some more of this back to get this to go down in there because I can't come this way because there's a seam in the concrete. So I don't want to put the screws right here at the seam. I'm going to come back from it a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and get this marked and cut. All right, so I got it all cut. I uh, just used the oscillating tool for that. So now this blade is pretty much garbage because I kept hitting the concrete underneath. But we're going to get the vacuum and get this cleaned up. Now we just got to make sure everything is going to fit in here and put it down in the groove. All right, now it's got to drill these out and get them tapped in. I was on a roll and I forgot to show it, but I did get these drilled out and you can see I got the little inserts in because usually what I do is I put the insert in, then I'll get something hard and actually tap it to make sure that it's flush with this edge. So now we just got to get this in and screwed in. All right, so those are in and uh, all screwed in tight. So this is nice and tight in here now. All right, it's all in. It's actually nice and smooth. It's a pretty good transition across there. So, but I forgot to show you how to put it together. Now, I'm not a professional either, but I've done a few of these transition strips over the years, so this is the easiest way I found to do them. All right, so once you get your strip fastened down in place, you don't want to make sure it's straight. Try not to, you know, get it so it's uh, wavy or bent or anything. And then you can see this groove is what's going to go inside of this. So essentially, the easiest thing I found to do... All right, so the easiest way I found... Basically, once you have this all fastened down, you get the one end in and started, 
and you get this pushed down in tight as much as you can. And then you can actually work your way down the strip. Usually I use a rubber mount and just keep tapping lightly and then the whole thing will pop down in. But this isn't going to be popped in here because they're hard to get back out. All right, if you have any questions on how anything was done, give me a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. Uh, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. That would you know, greatly help us out. All right, so now we got all the nail holes filled in all of these. And these over here, now I just got to go through and I'll end up probably using the belt sander to sand them all. So today we're going to get into just finishing up some uh, caulking and some of the trim. So let me show you some of the caulking I got done here. Then you can see I got this back part done around the block or the stone. And I got a little bit down the side until I ran out. And I got a little bit over on this side, and but I'm out of the caulking. So I got to get probably two more tubes to get the rest of this finished and the rest of the way around the bar finished. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the trim done. So we're gonna go back over to the workshop and get that done. All right, so now you can see here and we're in the workshop and you can see I got all this trim here that we went ahead and got all the nail holes filled, but now I gotta get it sanded. And I do have some more over here, but we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. You can see that we had all the done. Hopefully that uh, time lapse worked pretty well for it. But now we have my pile of uh, trim here, all basically sanded. I was only sanding just to kind of scuff it up so the paint sticks better. So now we're gonna get that set up for painting. All right, got the boards all set up here. So we're gonna go ahead and get these painted. So this is a paint we're using, this is bare. It's actually a colored called Bakery Box. All right, we have those all painted for their initial coat. So I'm probably gonna have to come back and put a second coat on them, but you can see how they look for now. Got the initial on, so it looks pretty good for now. Forgot to film it, but you know, I went ahead and I was doing trim. I was on a roll, didn't even think about it. So let me show you what we got done. All right, you can see, got done the trim, the base stairs done, the strips going up the sides are done, even around the poles done. Put one around that top, that top, Come on, focus, there we go. That top and all the baseboards all the way around the room are complete. I did finish the caulking around the edges. I had the dehumidifier going, but even around the base of the bar, I got all that caulking done. All right, now you can see a little better. All the caulking is done. It's still a little shiny because it's not dry yet, but all the way around, even the baseboards you can see are done. So that's all good. And even everything back in behind the fridge is done. And I included, I put a corner strip there to make it, finish it off nicer. All right, so the only thing I got left to do in this room is I'm going to change out the receptacles. Because as you probably noticed, they're all brown. And it just doesn't really go with our motif we have going. So we're going to go ahead and get these changed out. Yeah, so they're all like this. And it's going to be a simple, just change them out. I got new switch plates already for them. So I got to just change all these out all the way around the room you can see they're brown so we're gonna get those changed out too today we're working on the receptacles i want to show you a good example of what not to do when you're doing your receptacles this much wire sticking out is not a good idea there's not even enough to get anything in here so i literally had to turn the receptacle you know and force it sideways just and take the screws out just to get it out of here so we're gonna end up pigtailing this, but don't do this. If you're gonna do a receptacle, leave enough room in there. Okay, we just realized that we never actually filmed the completion portion of the basement. So they went from the last one I have is the, re the receptacle that you see, and now we'll do a walkthrough of everything down here that's completed. All right, we'll just walk around. We'll show you everything is done. All the things done. This is the last receptacle you saw with the wiring issue. But that's been fixed. 
everything's in. Her fridge is here. It still has the plastic on the top. I never finished peeling that off, so there is no scratches. Bar top is done, and everything has been dusted. Even the pole, top and bottom, have trim on them. Even over here, the top and bottom both have trim. We got it done around the steps here. See, we got lights on the stairs are on. We do have the trim coming up the side. It makes it stand out so you don't want to bang your head into it as you come by. All the tile was down, all the grout was done around that. You can see behind the bar itself, you can see all the grout down there that's been done. This is actually a, a silicone style caulk so it can flex since we have a floating floor. All the baseboard is done, receptacle is done. Everything has been changed out from the dark brown ugly ones to these. We do have everything set up. And here's from the other side of the room. So you can see it's actually a very big room.